Good morning, children. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Fine, sir. We are going to cover a very important topic in geometry. Uh, it's called tangents in circles. Can I request you to please switch on your class pads? As I said, I'm going to cover tangents, a very important topic in geometry. Don't bother taking the notes because I'm going to share it with you at the end of the class to your class pads. So children, you see uh, any tangent drawn on a radius of a circle are always perpendicular to each other. This concept would become more clear to you once I play an interactive animation on the whiteboard. I shall share the same animation with you. Uh, you can access it on your class pad and go through it once again after I'm done. Here I'm going to play the animation. We'll see that if we draw two tangents I'm going to transfer or share this specific animation onto your class pads so that you can view it for yourself. Children, I'm going to share the same animation now onto your class pads. So children, I've uh, shared the animation with you. Let me just check through the screen sharing option whether you are going through the animation or not. So children, I hope you have understood the concept of tangents now that we have played the uh, animation on your class pads as well. So I am going to ask you something. Tell me what is it? Seven. And this? Radius. So I am going to ask one of you to come down here and draw our tangent which, is, which makes right angle to this radius. So what about you Preeti? So, what do you think about it, children? Good job, Preeti. So, children, I hope everyone is clear about the concepts of tangents, yes, sir. Uh, the concept of uh, radius and tangents drawn onto radius, how they are perpendicular to each other. Yes, so, uh, what I'm going to do uh, now is I have to take an assessment with you. So, I will be pushing some assessment paper onto your class pads and I expect you to finish that assessment in 20 minutes time. So here I am, I am pushing an assessment to you. Children, through the screen sharing feature, I can see your screens on my class pad. So it seems that none of you have started your assessment yet. So it's high time that you start your assessment, otherwise you are going to run out of time. So children, it seems like all of you have given your test papers uh, and I'm going through the report on my class pad, the whole class is report on my class pad right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share an ebook onto your class pads. You can uh, read this ebooks when you go back home, revise your concepts, come back again and probably we can uh, sit for the test once again. Digital interactive classrooms make learning an active and engaging experience for both teachers and students. The new generation educational tablet, ClassPad, recently introduced by class teacher, aims to offer personalized and interactive learning in the classroom. ClassPad, when used in conjunction with digital interactive classrooms and assessment solutions, enables the teacher to have better control and concentrate on individual students' performance ensuring overall development. ClassPad supports multiple learning styles, which is very interesting as it will help to bridge the performance gap between slow, average and quick learners, thereby improving the overall academic average of the class. Using the ClassPad application, teacher can effectively share notes and other learning resources with the students instantly. The screen sharing feature of ClassPad empowers the teacher with highly powerful class monitoring tool, facilitating multiple screen views of the student's ClassPad activity onto her ClassPad. Class Teacher's online learning program, iPerform, integrated with ClassPad, extends learning to students' home as well, conferring a holistic approach to the overall learning process in a student's life. 